It's not safe for kids to play in the street, but two New Yorkers turned the streets of Spanish Harlem into a safe, controlled playground for kids to keep alive an old school game, stickball. Stickball is a free and easy way for kids to stay healthy and beat diseases like obesity. Alex likens stickball to baseball, only with fewer innings and a broomstick for a bat, and you just get one swing to hit a rubber ball. But there's few places for local kids to take those swings. They're building so many complexes out here that, you know, there's no schoolyards. And then the schoolyards that there, there, there is, you know, they're locked up, you know, so after three o'clock, you can't really find a good schoolyard. Alex had an idea. Find a way to bring organized kids stickball to neighborhood streets. But how? A friend got him in touch with local leader Deborah Quinones. Well, here in East Harlem, we suffer from high rates of diabetes, asthma, and sedentary lifestyle. He was concerned that young people weren't playing games and that the game of stickball was also something that was important to keep alive. When they were growing up, so they want their kids to grow up playing the stickball, playing the sport also. Most parents and groups can't afford the permits needed to temporarily close streets for events and sports. So he and Deborah started a nonprofit called Young Buck Sports. The program would arrange to shut down streets and offer a free program to teach kids ages 6 to 17 stickball fundamentals every Saturday over the summer. The most important thing was to file the permits and do the right thing and, and talk to legislators so that, that we can create a presence. I actually played with a stickball league, so, you know, it was easy for me to, you know, speak to them and we would go around the neighborhood. We would ask some of the stores, some of the local restaurants for help. We are kind of asking for money to help, you know, with the kids and stuff. In 2007, within three months of filing for nonprofit status, Young Buck Sports became an official organization. They've done a yearly summer stickball institute ever since. I started playing in Young Bucks when I was very little, and I was about like nine years old or ten, because it keeps me, like I said, healthy. You run a lot, and then it keeps your hands working and everything in your legs. Young Buck Sports now does the summer institute, pop-up playgrounds, handball tournaments, health workshops, and walking events. They say it's about beating obesity one game at a time. Beating obesity one game at a time for us means positive power of play. You know, when you think about the concept of obesity, people tend to think about food, they think about diets, and we thought here at Young Bucks was like, why not just do it one game at a time? 